Thanks for joining us. A young Oklahoma City woman was killed while out for a morning jog 34 years ago today. Her murder is still a mystery, but her friends have never lost hope. News 9's Kaylee Bourgeois joins us live at the police department tonight with Judy Weikert's case. Kaylee. Lisa, this is a case that's puzzled investigators for years and forever changed the lives of those close to Judy Weikert. This is the recipe that I got from her. July 28, 1984, Kathy Lester receives a letter and recipe from her friend Judy Weikert. She told me then she would send this to me, and so she did. The next day, Kathy learns the news. Judy is dead. I, I remember just falling to my knees, calling her name. I was. I didn't know what else to do. Kathy and Judy grew up together in Ponca City. And everybody liked her at school. She's just real sweet and caring, didn't really have any enemies. Judy eventually moved to Oklahoma City. It was just the prime of her life and looking forward to starting a family. But on this day in 1984, Judy went for a jog near Northwest Highway. Where she was attacked. Uh, we know that it was a male attacker and that she was sexually assaulted and stabbed. Raped, stabbed, and left for dead. Judy didn't give up. She was able to pull herself to the side of the road to try to flag down help. Judy passed away at Mercy Hospital from her injuries. No suspect was ever charged. The only real evidence left behind was also the biggest challenge. Really, the breakthrough we have is with DNA technology. The problem is, is it doesn't match anybody in the system that's been entered. With no match for the DNA, the case was closed and has been for years. I'm just here to stand up for Judy and not really speak for her, but she wouldn't have wanted to have just been left hanging like this. For the past 34 years, Kathy has been more careful, more cautious but for every milestone she faces she thinks of Judy and I think of that when I have a lot of things that come up in my life that I'm like you can't be sad Judy never had the chance Police ask, please, if you have any tips on this case, you can give them a call at Crime Stoppers, and that number is on this story on the News 9 app on our website now. On the scene, on the story, at the police department, Kaylee Bourgeois, News 9.